Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Mars. Good morning, South. Good morning if you are within Africa. Good afternoon, good evening if you are outside. It's another beautiful Monday. And I want to wish you a happy, good week. Wonderful week. Precious week. This week will be a favor to you. This week will bring blessings. From today being Monday to Friday to your Sunday, Saturday, I wish you success. I wish you goodies. Whatever you have been praying for, I'm believing God that heaven will grant you your heart desire this week. And I want to tell you that this week will be different from other weeks. This week will never be like other weeks. It must be a different week. Because this week will never repeat itself again. Mark this particular week in the month of June. Another week may come, but not the same week in the month of June, and not the same week in 2020. June comes once every year. So I wish you good this, this week. I wish you a wonderful day. If you are sick, you are healed. Whatever you have been asking for, heaven will see you through. Mommy, tell me, Basin, good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning, doc. Good morning, ma. Good morning, mommy, IJ. Good morning, my daughter, Barista Nina. Good morning. Dadia Doga, good morning. My baby girl, Amanda, good morning. Apostle Prince from South Africa, good morning, sir. Good morning. I appreciate all. But without wasting much time, um, I want us to quickly move to the purpose of being here this morning. Thank you for being with me. Um, I'll be reading from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 9. I read from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 1. I'm going to tell you a story you know very well about. Let's share a little mystery you need to know. Because no matter how anointed somebody is, there is still a little mystery in the life of another that you need to know. Nobody has it all. So this is a story we all know very well, but a little mystery I got. And I believe that it must profit somebody. Somebody must got a profit for me today. I'm reading from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 1. Now David said, is there anyone still left in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was a servant of the house of Saul whose name was Ziba. So when they had called him to the David, the king said to him, Are you Ziba? And he said, At your service. Then the king said to, Then the king said, Is there not still one left in the house of Saul whom I may show the kindness of God? And Ziba said, There is the king, there is to the, there is, and Ziba said to the king, There is still a son of Jonathan who is lame in his feet. So the king said to him, Where is he? And Ziba said to the said to the king, Indeed he is in the house of Micah, the son of Ammon, in Lodeba. Then the king, the king David is sent to fresh him out of the house of Micah, in the son out of the house of Micah. Micah, the son of Ammon, from Lodeba. Now we Mephibosheth, when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, had come to David, he fell on his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, Mephibosheth and he answered here is your servant so David said to him do not fear for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan your father's sake and I will restore to you all the land all the land so your grandfather and you shall eat the bread at the table continually then he bowed himself and said what is your servant that you should look upon such such a deed such a dead dog as I am and the king said to Ziba sure Saul's servant and said to him, And I have given to your master, your master's son, all that belongs to Saul and all to his house. Hallelujah. I will be preaching on a topic that said, It's my season. It's my season. When I'm talking about on a topic that said, It's my season, there are seasons for everything. 
And when the season of anything comes, the truth remains that that thing will have a, dom a dominion over other things. You know, it's like when the material is running. Let me use a simple example that we understand very well. It's like when this particular clothes, an abisiago in Igbo language, you know, this material they used to draw the head of a tiger, the head of a lion, and other things. Now, when that particular material came out, I remember that I, that, that I once, that a yard is 250,000, that I once, a yard is 200,000, that I once, a yard is 80 something thousand, and that I once, a yard is 20 something thousand. But you discover when that thing came out newly, because of the raining, because of how it was ruling, because of how that material was dominating, if you see politicians, if you see great ministers, everybody was, was longing to have it, everybody was using it for occasion for big day, you discover that it was too expensive. But if you look around today, even China have produced ordinary material, ordinary material that, that, that bears the same pattern, the same style, but yet the head still remains the head. So what am I trying to say? When it is time for anything to rule, I remember when a particular cloth and a back watch, you understand? Everybody was trying to have it. It's like now among women that the cloth called Indian rapper is raining and everybody wants to wear Indian rapper. And you discover that Indian rapper have started having grace as well. Now when we are talking about, when we are talking about season, there is a season for everything. And one wisdom about season is this, when your season comes, try to manage it well. There is a season, there is a rainy season, there is a winter, there is a summer for those that is outside. You know, there, there are seasons for everything. And when the season of anything comes, nothing stops that thing from ruling. That is one mystery we need to know. When it is a season of a man, no matter what men do, they cannot stop that person. Anything that is season comes, the way the thing flies, the way the thing goes will be surprised to people. And that's why when the season of some men comes, some people will see some men and they will start gossiping about that person. What you are saying may not really be what that person is. The truth remains that the season of that person have come. And heaven sent me to come and let you know this morning that your season have come. Heaven said that I should let you know that your marital season has come. When we are talking about season this morning, we are talking about a divine season, not just a season. There is a season for everything, but there is a divine season for any, everything. When the season of a man comes, no matter how you struggle to stop that man, you cannot stop that man. When the season of a man comes, his promotion comes like with supernatural speed. When the season of a man comes, people will be favoring that man without knowing the reason. The truth remains, heaven have marked that person and heaven have sanctioned it. Heaven have written it that the season of that man has come. And I, God sent me to come and let you know this morning that it's your season. It is time for your marital season. It's time for your financial season. You know, you know the season you want. You know what you want in your season. When, your, when the season of a man comes, whatever you desire comes to pass it easily. So I don't know what you want this morning. You can type what you want. But heaven said that I should let somebody know that your marital season has come. It depends on what you want. You can type it. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your financial season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your healing season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your contact season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your conception season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of your visa has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your ministry Serious season have come. Pastors, ministers, mothers, sadders in the ministry. Jehovah said that your ministerial season have come. That simply means nothing can stop you from manifesting. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that your business season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that, your, that the season of your job have arrived. Heaven sent me to come and let you know this morning that your promotional season has come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of your wealth have come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of that the season of your driving better cars have come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of grace have come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of favor have come. Heaven sent me to come and let you know that the season of miracle have come. What else are you looking for? If God can give you a marital settlement, your financial settlement, your say your healing, your, your your contract, your contact, your conception, your visa, your favor, your grace, your miracle, your business breakthrough, your job breakthrough, your promotional breakthrough, your wealth breakthrough, your you, 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 a season of driving good cars, a season of living in a good house. Maybe you have been managing, you have been asking God to when heaven said that I should come and let you know that the pence is ending right away, that your season has come. Remember, when a season of a man comes, nobody can stop that man. When the season of a man comes, he rules where people think that he cannot rule. He wins where people think that he cannot win. He wants where people think that he cannot win. That is the season of a man. When the season of a man comes, angels campaign for the man. 
angels vote for the man, an angel showcases the man, and heaven swears such a man in. That is the season of a man. It's my season. Can I can, 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 can I hear you shout it wherever you are? When you type I are and you made me understand that you are claiming it wherever you are. Heaven said it's your season. It's your season. Wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, it's your season. Whatever you have been looking for, it's your season. Your season of divine breakthrough, season of favor, season of promotion, season of testimony, season of marriage and conception, season of visa, season of a good job, season of a good contract, season of a good contact, season of everything you have been asking for, it's your season. According to where we read from the Bible, Bible said there is a man called David. And who is this man called David? This is a man that is meant to be a king, but Saul didn't want him to rule. Saul knows that this man will rule. He wanted to stop him. And let me let you know, any man that has not manifested in his season cannot die anyhow. When Saul was busy looking for David, little did he know that David was created for a purpose. I came to let you know, you are created for a purpose. Nobody can stop you anyhow. You are born for a purpose. You are born for a reason. You are born for a particular purpose. Destiny is attached to you. And let me remind us one thing, when people's destiny is attached to you, you cannot die in the heart. Hear me, hear me, hear that word again. When destiny is attached to you, you can't die in the heart. Destiny was attached to David. Oh, you can imagine, even the grandson of Saul, his destiny was attached to David's own, and Saul didn't know. That's why I pity some people, when they are dealing with people, little did they know that they can still meet that person. Be mindful of people you meet while climbing, because you may as well see them while coming down. Saul was busy threatening David. Little did he know that the destiny of his own grandson is attached to David. Because Bible said that after the death of David, and after, sorry, after the death of Saul, and there is a man called David, he emerged in a seat. And one day he rose and he asked a question. When the season of a man comes, God will give the people that are supposed to connect him a sleepless night. That is the truth about it. Because David woke up. Nobody reminded him about Mephibosheth. But on his own, he asked a question is there anybody left in the house of Saul that I may show him mercy I want you to understand something here Nobody reminded David that there is a man like Mephibosheth. Nobody reminded him that there is a man that he can help. Nobody reminded him that there is a man that is called Mephibosheth. But David woke up by himself. He remembered that then. Do you know why he remembered it? Because the season of Mephibosheth has come. I don't know who is giving you pressure. I don't know who is tormenting you. I don't know who is punishing you. They have the right to punish you yesterday. They have the right to stop you yesterday. But they don't have the right to stop you now. A man, When a man's season comes, that man is unstoppable. When a man's season comes, that man is unkillable. When a man's season comes, that man becomes unwearable. When a man's season comes, he becomes unstoppable. When a man's season comes, he becomes unbeatable. That is, that, that is one thing that makes a man's season. Hear me and hear me clear. It's your season. Because it's your season, you are unwearable. You are unkillable. You are unstoppable. You are unquenchable. You are unbeatable. Nobody can stop you because it's your season. But to hear me and hear me, when a man's season comes, people may try to stop. People may try to kill, but they cannot kill you because it's your season. Let me hear you type it's my season. Wherever you are watching right now, I pray with you. I pray for you. It's your time to manifest it and you must manifest in the name of Jesus. Bible said, and David asked a question, is there any man left that I may show him kindness? When the season of a man comes, God will give men sleepless night because of that person. When is your time to work? The manager will be in trouble. When they, if they did not employ you, the director will be in trouble. If they did not employ you, when is this your season for business? Buyers will be in trouble. They will trust you until they get where you are. When is your season for favor? Heaven will give people your name. He will give people your phone number. He will give people your direction. That is the season of a man. God said that I should let you know that it's your season. Heaven have assigned an angel with your phone number, with your home address. In fact, hear me and hear me clear. Beginning from today, your house is a residential address for heaven. When a season of a man comes, that man becomes unstoppable and unbeatable. When a season of a man comes, everything about that person becomes easier. There is a season for everything according to Lamentation 3. When the divine season of a man comes, the power of introduction takes place. When the season of a man comes, nothing stops that man from being introduced. When the season of a man comes, that is a season when grace, that is when grace becomes a defender. 
When the season of a man comes, grace becomes a defender. Grace becomes the man's shelter. The grace becomes the man's shield. When the season of a man comes, grace becomes the chief bridesmaid of that woman and the, and the best man of that man. That is the season of a man. When the season of a man comes, mercy becomes the, the, the bodyguard of that particular man. When the season of a man comes, mercy becomes the spokesman. When the season of a man comes, mercy became a witness. Why grace becomes the shorty of the destiny of that man? Hear me again. When the season of a man comes, grace becomes his, becomes his shield, her shield. When the season of a man comes, grace becomes his shelter. When season of a man comes, grace becomes a cheap bridesmaid and the best man of that particular person. When the season of a man comes, mercy becomes the spokesman and the spokesperson of that person. When the season of a man comes, mercy becomes a witness. Why grace becomes a shorty to the destiny of that person? It's your season. I saw grace standing as a witness of your manifestation. And I saw mercy standing as a witness. I saw mercy standing as a witness for your manifestation. And I saw grace signing a shorty of your promotion. Whatever you have been looking for, whatever you have been waiting for, grace has signed. Grace is your shorty. Mercy is your witness. And when mercy is your witness, when grace is your shorty, nobody can stop you. Congratulations. I see you manifesting. I see you showcasing. I see you manifesting. I see you showcasing. Heaven said it's your season. Congratulations, for it is your season. When the season of a man comes, nobody stops that man. When the season of a man comes, nobody can quench that man. Bible said, and David said, is there anybody left? And they said, yes, there is somebody who can trace the background of that person. And they said, there is a man called Ziba. And David called him and said, are you Ziba? He said, yes, sir. Hear me and hear me clear. When the season of a man comes, nobody can stop that man. When the season of a man comes, that is when your connector will abandon his own family members that he's supposed to help. Only to help a man that his season have arrived. Behold, David called Ziba. Ziba and his help as well because Ziba have about 15 children out of the 15 children of Ziba they need help as well but David did not help them David was busy looking for Mephibosheth the reason is because it is not done for Ziba it is not done for the children of Ziba but it is done for, for Mephibosheth when a man's time comes your connector will abandon his family members your connector will abandon even the people that think that they are doing a campaign for him and he will favor the man he sees in his car heaven said that I should let you know there is your season and I pray with you in any angle you have been waiting for God receive your manifestation in the name of Jesus in that your position in that your promotion in that your office that your marriage that your conception that your visa ministerial breakthrough business breakthrough financial breakthrough health breakthrough whatever you have been looking for receive it material breakthrough in the name of Jesus when the season of a man comes nobody can stop him remember when your season comes, mark that word. Don't forget it. The grace, the grace become, the, the, it become a signatory to it. And mercy becomes a witness to it. And they say, Ziba, you Ziba? He said, yes, sir. I saw Ziba sin in his heart. Sir, I need this help more than Mephibosheth. But because it's not his season, his language was not pronounced. He takes a man that his season comes for his language and the voice to be pronounced. And he asks him, is there anybody that is left in the house of Saul? He said, yes, sir, there is. But his name is Mephibosheth. He is lame in his leg. He lives in a man's house called Micah. The question was, is there anybody left? The answer is supposed to be yes. That explanation and sentence is not necessary. But behold, he sent it, he, he, he pronounced that comment. Yet David did not hear it. When God wants to introduce a man, what your connector hears is only help, 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 help. Your connector don't hear any other language. He said there is a man, but he is lame in his legs. But David did not hear him. Everybody knows why he says it. Because a disabled man is not permitted to come close to the palace. But that was not what God says. When the time comes, when a man's season comes, protocols will be broken. When a man's season comes, people that don't give gap must surely give gap. When a man's season comes, God will give him a feather to fly. Hear me, hear me. When a man is walking alone, he can walk, he can run. But when your season comes, heaven gives you feather to fly. Ziba was busy gossiping. 
But little did he know that when a man's season comes, gossip cannot stop that person. Let me tell you one thing. When your season comes, gossip becomes a messenger to your destiny. When your season comes, gossip becomes a promoter to your destiny. When your season comes, gossip becomes a booster to your destiny. When the mass season comes, gossip will become a pusher that pushes your destiny. When the mass season comes, gossip became a promoter. Gossip became an announcer. Gossip became an advert, an advert point to take you to where you are going. When the mass season comes, gossip becomes a driver that drives you to your destiny. When a mass season comes, people's gossip becomes a pilot that will land you to your destination. When a mass season comes, people gossip become a pilot that will take you to where you have yourself landing. When a mass season comes, people's gossip becomes a sailor that will take your ship to the seaport. When a mass season comes, gossip become a tizy that will take that person to his, to his bus stop. When God decides to give a man his season and his divine season, gossip of men cannot stop it. I don't know how they are gossiping you. I don't know how they are backbiting because of you. The truth remains that what they are saying cannot stop you. What they are doing cannot stop you. That is what you carry that they cannot stop. When a man's season comes, heaven releases a spiritual shock of Zava. When a man's season comes, heaven releases a spiritual shock of Zava. That no matter what they said, you live without that thing they are saying. No matter what they said, they can't kill you. They can't stop you they can't do anything because you are called for a purpose because that is what is in you that is in them when a man's season comes spiritual song observer appears and that's why they will say the more we keep gossiping him the more he keep moves ahead moves ahead the question is is there anybody left instead of him to say yes he started gossiping hear me and hear me clear people gossip is your announcer people gossip is your spiritual speedometer people gossip is your promoter is your booster is is your radio announcer because there are people they will not hear about you until people gossip you. Do you know there are calibers of people? They don't want to hear the good aspect of a man, but when they hear the negative aspect of a man, they will brass to know. So it's good that some gossip is so that people will brass about you. When a season of a man comes, he becomes unstoppable. When a season of a man comes, spiritual observer appears. Shock observer appears. That's why the more they push you, the more you grow higher. When the time of a man comes, that becomes a spiritual booster. The more they gossip you, the more you are flying. That becomes an announcer. That becomes a promoter. That the more they gossip, the more heaven is promoting you. When the season of a man comes, my dear, this task is not a barrier for the person's blessing. I stretch forth my hands this morning, wherever you are. Whatever you have been waiting for, receive it is your season. In the name of Jesus. When the season of a man comes, Poison, charm becomes a spiritual fertilizer to the person's destiny. I don't know if you get that word. When the season of a man comes, they are gossip, they are backbiting, the charm they bury becomes a spiritual fertilizer to your destiny. They will do their charm today, waiting for you to die tomorrow. You will come back in the morning and become healthy. A friend he told me a story what happened in their family sometime. They said that their mom was in the hospital. And that woman has been sick and sick and sick and sick and sick and sick and sick. This man told me this story when I went to their family. This woman has been sick for over two years. The woman keep being in the hospital, no improvement, no solution, nothing to do about it. I'm trying to tell you their charm, their poison becomes a spiritual fertilizer. And this woman will be the one day they will call and say, let's allow her to go. She can no longer make it. This is two years of being in this condition. No improvement, no talking, nothing. In coma, let's allow her to go. And the son, the son that was telling me this is a, a doctor as well. And the doctor, the son agreed, let's allow our mother to go. And they wanted to allow the woman to go. That is a particular injection. Behold, they were waiting for the woman to, to remain closing her eyes the way she had been for the past few years in coma. The next day, this woman opened her eyes. When the son, being a doctor in the same hospital, came. And he asked the son, so, you know what you will do for me to be healed and you left me in this condition. And the woman said, thank you for these particular drugs you gave to me. This have healed my diseases. A woman that been paralyzed for two years. That have been in coma for two years. The day they released that to go. That was the day she returned back to life. Thanking the children. Blaming them for not giving her that injection all this while. That was how that woman became alive again till after another six years. She didn't die till another six years. 
They were telling me this story when I went to their family. When they wanted to bury their mom, they wanted me to come and pray for them before they buried her. The doctor called me because they built a new house. Behold, that, behold, that was when this woman came back to life. To understand that anytime she's sick, she will call the son and say, please, that one you gave me and I came back to life for that time. Give it to me again. I need it. What sex orders to the grave brought a woman that had been in coma back to life? That simply means when your season comes, people's charm and gossip will become a spiritual fertilizer. I don't know where they are planting their charm. Any charm they planted against you, I change it to your spiritual fertilizer. I change it to your spiritual fertilizer. Anywhere they buried it, anywhere they are gossiping you, God is converting it today. It is no longer gossip. It's a spiritual fertilizer for the growth of your destiny, for the growth of your favor. If a drug that can take somebody to grave brought a woman back to life, their charm is boosting your destiny, is not killing your destiny. And I pray with you, wherever you think that their manipulations have been affecting you, God said, I'm turning it to your spiritual fertilizer. God said, I'm turning it today to your booster. I'm turning it today to your, as your promoter. I'm turning it today as your advert. Go and rule because it's your season in the name of Jesus. When the season of a man comes, God sends a destiny helper. I declare your destiny helper to locate you. Your destiny helper is locating you this morning. Your destiny helper is locating you. Dear mother, dear father, dear sister, dear father, dear father in the Lord, dear mother in the Lord, dear sister in the Lord, dear son or daughter in the Lord, cousin, uncle, brother. God said, I'm sending your destiny helper. So no matter how the enemies are fighting you, when your helper comes, they cannot stop your helper. When the season of a man comes, God sends him, sends him a seasonal helper. When your season comes, heaven sends you a seasonal helper. Receive your seasonal helper in the name of Jesus. Who is a seasonal helper? A man you did not expect. A woman you did not expect. A man you have not seen. A woman you have not seen. That is whom is your seasonal helper is. It may be somebody you have seen. It may be somebody you have heard about, but you have not had in contact with that person. But when your season comes, a seasonal helper appears. I declare your seasonal helpers in the name of Jesus. When your seasonal helper comes, when, when the time of a man comes, a destiny connector will appear. I declare your destiny connector to connect you from now. Whatever you have been asking for, praying for, that dream you had, you don't know how to achieve it. God said that I should let you know that after this message, you will achieve that dream. A better amen can take you there. Two times, three times, amen can take you there. Because I believe the louder your amen, the, 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 the higher your speedometer in the spiritual realm. When the season of a man comes, God sends him a destiny helper. When the season of a man comes, that is when your destiny helpers abandon their own family helpers in order, family, family members in order to help you. And that is when the family members will start shouting, they are using charm on my brother. They are using charm on my sister. My daddy may not really be using charm. That person may not really be using charm. The truth remains, your brother, your sister is fulfilling a spiritual mandate that God had made that it to be even before the creation of you and I. You know, whatever that God says, it comes to pass. When it is a season of a man, when the time of, when the season of a man comes, my dear, that is when people abandon their own family member in order to carry your own problem. The question will be, she is not our family member, he is not our family member, but yet they are carrying my problem. Do you know the reason? The reason is because your season has come. When your season comes, that is when people's, that is when people's projects will be on holidays in order for your own project to be fulfilled. When the season of a man comes, that is when people say that our brother don't call us, but he calls us a soft person. Sometimes he's charmed, sometimes he's not charmed. If God has mandated your brother, if God has created your sister to be a seasonal helper and a destiny helper to somebody, and the season of that person has come, your brother must stand to help that person. That's why even when you people are talking to that person, the person will not understand it because, because he see, it's a time for him to be a seasonal helper to somebody. It may not really be child. It may not really be anything. God has made him to be a tithe to somebody's destination. God has made him to be a seller to somebody's seaport. God has made him to be a sheep to somebody. somebody have, God might have made him to be a seaport to somebody's sheep. God has made him to be a flight to somebody's country. God has made him to be a, a, visa, a, 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 a visa in somebody's passport. That's why you think that charm is holding your brother. It may not really be charm. When the season of a man comes, God will send him a helper. A destiny helper. God will send him a destiny director. Zalebra Escotoninia in Daya Lebra Mabolia. 
When the devil sends you a spiritual director, my dear, the mistakes you made will be corrected with that stress. That is when God sends you a destiny helper. Bible said, and Ziba said he is crippled, and Ziba said he is left. But David said, Ziba, I need him that way. When your season comes, your seasonal helper don't listen to gossip. When your season comes, your seasonal helper don't have time for backbiting. When your season comes, your seasonal helpers don't have time for enchantments. When your season comes, your seasonal helpers don't listen to what people say. And I declare a seasonal helper that will never listen to gossip to you. I declare a seasonal helper that will not mind what people are saying. Receive that seasonal helper in the name of Jesus. I remember sometime there is a girl called Chibuza when that lady was about to marry. The stepmother went and gossiped to the husband. Husband to be. The woman told the young man that Chibuza is a harlot. The young man said, Don't worry. <laughs> I'm as well a harlot. And the, behold, the same woman told the young man. She, she steals. The man told her it's because she didn't see anybody that gives her enough. The same woman gossiped again that Chibosa is a gossiper. The man said that he himself is a good gossiper that he can discuss for 10 hours. When the woman saw that he cannot stop the man, he now dashed the man, Gary, while the man was returning back. On the way, the car had issued. That Gary fell on the way. The young man managed to take some and return back. The next morning, the Gary turned to black. Since she cannot stop the man from marrying the woman, she now wants to kill the young man. When God sends you a seasonal helper, seasonal helpers don't listen to gossip. Seasonal helpers help you when they hear your gossip. Seasonal helpers boost you when they hear your gossip. Seasonal helpers promote you when they hear the gossip. Seasonal helpers boost you, they promote you, they advert you, they do your advert the more when they hear your gossip. The more people gossip you, the more they begin to love you, the more. That is your seasonal helpers. Ziba said, Mephibosheth is crippled. David is able to bring him that way. He lives in a place that he saw. He said, bring him that way. Number one question is, what is the meaning of Mephibosheth? Mephibosheth is talking about sorrow. What is the meaning of Lodeba? Lodeba is talking about a, a dry city. Imagine a man. Answering the name Soro, living in a dry country, living in a dry city. That is double challenges at the same time. But God said that I should let you know, no matter how many challenges you are having, that your solution is taking place right away. God said that your divine season has come and nobody will stop you in the name of Jesus. And you can ask a question. What led Mephibosheth to that condition where he is? Mephibosheth was not crippled by birth. It was when there is a battle, when there is war. When he lost his father and lost his grandfather. And a midwife that was taking care of him was taking him to somewhere in order to protect him. He was carrying him on his shoulder. But behold, Mephibosheth fell from the cripple of that person and became crippled. He was not crippled by birth. I don't know what you are passing through. I remember the topic I preached. That topic he said, it was not so from the beginning. That is the condition of Mephibosheth. It was not so from the beginning. He wasn't crippled by birth. But behold, the condition brought crippleness. I don't know what you are passing through. That thing has not been so. I don't know what is happening in your conception, what is happening in your marriage, what is happening in your business, what is happening in your job, what is happening in your ministry. It was not so in the beginning, but you suddenly started seeing it. It was not so in the beginning of your relationship. It was not so in the beginning. Your health was not like this before, but today you are seeing it in another mood. Your family was not the way before. There was peace before, now there is no peace. Your ministry was growing before, but today it's no longer growing. It was not so from the beginning. It was not so from the beginning beginning but you suddenly started seeing it jehovah said that i should let you know that that challenge is becoming over now zanebra escoto nania indene malebra indaya libaba sundele zalebra yekeke libaba zundele i pray with you i pray for you receive your correction in the name of jesus anything that was not so from the beginning in your family, in your destiny, in your relationship, in your ministry, in your office, in your job, in your conception. Anything that was not so in the life of your wife, in the life of your husband, anything that was not so in the life of your children. Strange characters that was not so before suddenly started happening. I pray with you today. Receive a change. Receive a change. 
In the name of Jesus, God is changing your condition. God is changing your life. God is changing your academic status. God is changing your marriage. God is changing your wife. God is changing your husband. God is changing your lecturer. God is changing your wisdom. God is changing your brain. God is changing your ministry. God is changing your finance. God is giving you a promotion. He's giving you a financial breakthrough. Whatsoever you have been looking for, receive a solution to it. Receive a testimony to it. A better amen and a multiple amen can give you a multiple answer. Zanebra Escoto, Nania Indaya, Le Papa Sundele, Malebra Escoto, Nania Indaya, Le Papa Sundaya Malebra, Escoto Libra Indele Malia, Zakaka Libra Escoto, Nania Indele, Zalebra Escoto Nebra, Nindaya Libra Escoto, Nania Indele. God said that I should let you know that that challenge is over, that your season have arrived. When the season of a man comes, he will have what is called pressure free wealth, pressure free job, pressure free ministry, pressure free testimony, pressure free breakthrough, pressure free concern. Pressure free marriage, pressure free promotion, pressure free healing, pressure free financial breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nania escoto lebra indaya za lebra indele zakaka lebra escoto lebra indaya malebra escoto nia lebra indaya lebra zanene escoto lebra indaya zakaya lebra escoto nania indele za lebra indaya. It's your season. When the season of a man comes, nothing stops you from going there. He said, bring him that way. When your season comes, God sends a man as your sheep to your sepulchre. As, as your sheep to your sepulchre. And God makes a man a sepulchre to your sheep as well. And God said, bring him that way. In all these qualifications, they could not stop him. I pray with you from today, you are unstoppable. From today, nobody can stop you. That thing you have been looking for, nothing can stop your heart desire from coming to pass. No man can stop your heart desire. Bible said that expectation of a righteous shall not be cut off. Nobody can cut off your expectation in the name of Jesus. That job you have been looking for, that land you want to buy, that house you want to buy, that street you want to leave, that miracle you have been expecting, receive it today in the name of Jesus. And God said them, bring him that way. Zimba could not stop the movement of Mephibosheth. Do you know why? Because it is his season. Zimba has his own problem. But it was a time of Mephibosheth. With all the gossip of Ziba, he cannot stop Mephibosheth. Bible said when they brought Mephibosheth, they thought that he would disqualify because he's crampled. But little did he know that no man disqualifies a man whom God has qualified. I hear God speaking. Son, I have qualified you. I hear God saying, daughter, I have qualified you. I hear God saying, yesterday you were disqualified, today you are qualified. If you can type very well, you can type it. I'm qualified. Hear me? Any man that is able to answer a disqualified man is more than able to answer the qualified man. Nanya Eskoto, Libra, Indaya, Libra, Eskoto. You are qualified. I hear heaven saying, son, your ministry is qualified for a boosting. Your church is qualified for an advert. I hear God is saying your result is qualified for a good job. I hear God is saying your life is qualified for a good health. I hear you say, I hear him say your daughters and sons are qualified for good marriages. I hear God saying you are qualified to be to be an exporter. You are qualified to marry. You are qualified to have a job. You are qualified to have your children. You are qualified to have your breakthrough. You are qualified to have your certificate. You are qualified to have your result. You are qualified to have your man. You are qualified to have your peace. You are qualified to have your favor. God is saying, not me. You are qualified. In fact, I add to what God said. Congratulations. Zalebra Escotonia in Daya Lebra in Delema Lebra Escoto. You are qualified. Congratulations. Malebra in Daya. Zalebra Escotonia. You are qualified. You are qualified. In all the gossip of Ziba, he could not stop Mephibosheth. When Mephibosheth he came, David asked him a question. The Bible said he prostrate on the ground. And David asked him a question, Are you Mephibosheth? He said, Yes, sir. David did not say the, see the crimpleness. When God sends a man to help you, you look beautiful and handsome in the eyes of that person. You look qualified and great in the eyes of that person. When God sends a man for, to, 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 to help you, you become a celebrity in the presence of those people. My dear, 
I don't know where they have been managing you. God said that I should let you know that he's taking you out of the management point to a celebrity point. Congratulations for it. Libra in Dayaka Escoto, Libra in Daya, Libra Zanana, Le Papa Escoto, Libra in Daya. God say you are graduating from the level of management. You are graduating from the level of available. You are going to the level of appetite. Available is what is there. Madam will tell you what is there. You will take it. While appetite is, do you have this? And Madam said, You say, Madam, relax. I know what I want. God said, I'm taking you where you have your choice. I'm taking you where you will select what you want. I'm taking you where grace will be your signature. And medicine will be a witness to it. That is where God is taking you today. And he said to Ziba, are you Ziba? He said, yes, sir. And he, are, are you Mephibosheth? He said, yes, sir. And he said to him from today, for the sake of your father, Jonathan, I'm restoring everything that belongs to you. And let me remind us this. When the season of a man comes, don't forget people that is around you because your works in the time of your season will, will give back to what your children will reap tomorrow. It was the work of work of Jonathan that Mephibosheth is about to reap now. And David said to him, I will restore everything that belongs to you. I will bring back everything that belongs to you. Nothing will stop you from having it. And he said to Ziba, everything that belongs to Mephibosheth I'm restoring it now, including you, Ziba. You are his grandfather's servant. Ziba, I return you. You will also be the servant of Mephibosheth. Hear me and hear me clear. Who is that man that is gossiping you? Try to betray you. Try to bewitch you in order to rule over you. God said that I should let you know. He's given that man, he's given that woman as your own servant, as your own servant, as your own servant, as your own servant, as your own servant. In the name of Jesus. Ziba wanted to disqualify Mephibosheth. Little did he know that future will make him a slave and a servant to Mephibosheth. My dear, future unveils everything. Time unveils everything. Maybe they are ruling you today. Saul was ruling. Didn't little did he know that David will rule one day. Who is ruling you today? Tomorrow you must rule. Leadership is done by thought. Nobody rules forever. No matter how strong and difficult any governor might be in any state, after eight years, he must go down. No option. Hear me. After eight years, the tenure of every governor expires. Life is turn by turn. Everybody have his season. They have ruled yesterday. Today is your turn. It's your season. It's your turn. You have nothing to drag with them. Their gossip cannot stop you. It's your turn. Their barbarity cannot stop you. It's your turn. Their witchcraft cannot stop you, it's your turn. Their involvement cannot stop you, it's your turn. Remember that when God wants to settle a man, that charm becomes a spiritual fertilizer. Remember. Ziba did not know that future will make him a servant to Mephibosheth. David did return everything that belongs to the generation of Mephibosheth, including Ziba, who mocked you. You will live to root that person in the name of Jesus. Who flattered you? He or she must come to your table to eat bread. For the fact I'm praying with you, I'm praying for you today. Those who mock you must come back to celebrate you. Those who flatter you must come back to celebrate you. Those who ask you where is your God must come back to see your God. Those who say that your God is not existing must come back to see your God. He restored everything that belongs to Mephibosheth. Remember his name was dryness. Scarcity. Remember, his name was bitter sorrow. The land he lives is scarcity and dryness. But when his season comes, dryness is started yearing fruit. Dry ground, desert is started bringing out water. Bitterness was turned to joy. Sorrow was turned to happiness. I see heaven changing your story. I see heaven changing your testimony. I see heaven changing what belongs to you. I see heaven changing your miracle. I see heaven restoring you in wealth. I see heaven restoring you in ministry. I see heaven restoring you in leadership. I see heaven restoring your relationship. I see God restoring your conception. I see God restoring your ministry. I see God restoring your good health. I see God restoring your good houses. I see God restoring your good wealth. I see God restoring your good car. I see God restoring your sons. I see God restoring your business. I see God restoring your miracles. I see God restoring you in your ministry. Who said your ministry have crumpled? Who said your business have crumpled? Who said you cannot? be in leadership? Who said your ministry cannot grow? Who said you cannot be a rich man? Who said you cannot be a wealthy man? There is a difference between the rich and the wealthy. Who said you can't be all? I hear God restoring you. I see heaven restoring you. 
receive your restoration in the name of Jesus. Before I pray with you, remember, it's your season of, it's your marital season, your financial season, your season of healing, season of contract, season of contact, season of conception, season of visa, season, ministerial season, business season, job season, promotional season, season of wealth, season of good cars, good houses, season of grace, season of favor, and season of miracle. Congratulations. The God that lifted Mephibosheth. The God that made him what he is. The God that later turned his, the Bible and the gossip passed to his servants. is turning your sorrows into joy. He's turning your weeping into joy. He's turning your thinking into happiness. He's turning your setback into promotion. He's boosting you. Heaven is boosting you. Heaven is promoting you. Heaven is showcasing you. Yesterday was your sandpapering period. Today is your showcasing period. Congratulations once again. Receive your beautiful marriage. Receive your beautiful business. Receive your beautiful relationship. Receive your beautiful leadership. Receive your beautiful, beautiful promotion. Receive your beautiful ministry. Receive your beautiful house. Receive your beautiful building. Re receive your beautiful cars. Receive your beautiful grace. Receive your beautiful prophetic utterance. God is opening your spiritual eyes. He's opening your spiritual ear. Whatever you have been asking for, receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Congratulations. You can't fail anyhow. Mark this world. When grace, when, when, when your time comes, when a season of a man comes, remember, mercy becomes a cheap bridesmaid. Grace becomes a best man. When the time of a man comes, mercy becomes a spokesman. When the time of a man comes, mercy became a witness. Why grace becomes a shorty, a signatory to the promotion of that man. Congratulations. It's your season. Shall we pray? Thank you, Father, for this message. I know you have reached the owners. I know you have blessed them. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for favor. Thank you, Abba Father, for all the blessings you have promised and for the fulfillment of all. Be thou magnified. I pray with you and I pray for you. No miracle will escape this season. It's your season and you must be showcased. Congratulations in all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I remain your sister, Reverend Oluchi Precious. Founder of Martin of Change Ministries. For now, we run our ministries only on Wednesdays because of pandemic. We start Monday morning. Uh, sorry, only on Wednesdays. We start Wednesday from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Counseling begins from 1 o'clock till 4, 5 in the evening. God bless you. God bless you. Type. As you type, may heaven showcase you. As you comment, may heaven showcase you. As you view, may you be showcased the more. Congratulations. 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 God bless you. Meet you again by this time on Monday.